Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, tonight, I have uh, the usual crew, Christian and Anna. And then we have, I Whoa. guess, uh, I guess Rob's a regular cast member at this point now, too. So <laughs> I got I got this. I got like one more show and then I'm done for the year <laughs> and I'll, I won't ever show up again. Every I mean, week I him... go back to your own show and you never do. You show up again. I don't know. I got told Lucas to go back to my me. own show when I was on your show. <laughs> Very strongly. Everyone's in the wrong place. That's what's going on. Yeah. We just all want to be everywhere. We just like being on here so much. We all want to be on every show. Yeah. All the things yeah. all the time. I want to be like you last week, Christian, and be on shows like three days in a row. Yeah, I did three in a row last week. It's pretty crazy. Look at you. <laughs> My life goal. So, oh, don't you worry. We can arrange for that, Anna. So, so tonight, <laughs> we're talking about these four people. They're not people. Yay. Okay. Uh, At people. most, two of them are people ish. Pretty sure all four of them are people. No, yeah. they're, they're ruthless animals. You're a I ruthless would definitely animal. call cause the yeah. I would call them people, but that's not what's important today. What's important is that we. Oh, I I brought the wrong figures. I thought we were talking about um the cassettes, right? Rumble. Yeah, but but I thought aren't we talk aren't we no. are we talking about Rapat? I thought no. we were talking about Rapat and Rumble. We talked about Rapat like months ago. Oh, okay. We did that. We're well, talking shit. about orange rat bat and more purple oh, rat bat. Oh, were there, were there other tapes that came out, like, recently? Yeah, or? yeah this is the four-pack oh, that just okay. came out. Or, well, oh. I mean, it came out, like, two to three weeks ago. Two oh. of them are tapes. Two of them are not tapes. Oh, like these? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. They're all tapes. But they're they're they look tapes. just like tapes. They oh. look like tapes. Because they are tapes. No, That's how that works. Nope. If it looks like a tape and transforms like a tape and fits into Soundwave like a tape, it's a tape. I think two of these don't fit into Soundwave like a tape, right? Yeah, no, they all do. Yeah, so there was this set produced not too long ago called this one. You, you have to one? say, for anyone that happens to be listening to the audio, for what anyone is this who one, happens Anna? to be listening, I'm pulling up <laughs> the Frenzy and Rap Bat set that some people call Rumble and. Wrap that because they read the box and don't know the truth of his right name. But we have this set here <laughs> of a little man cassette and a little bat cassette. And this was really hard to get. So a lot of people know it exists but don't have it. So what Hasbro decided to do was give us not one but two repeats of each of them in this generation selects pack. Two of the more common, no, actually one common character, one strangely common recently character, and then two characters that we probably never thought we would see. Well, um, it's, hey, honestly, hey, the and in the two... chat, they're asking if that uh, set that you held up is for sale that you never <laughs> opened. <laughs> it, it is not for sale. I just, I didn't get, I lost it, actually, is what happens. I misplaced it. And I only found it today because I wanted to have everyone, and then I just didn't get around to opening it today. But I'll probably open it later. I well, guess. Wait a minute. Hold, hold. Like, let, let's let's back this up because you, <laughs> for some reason, say that you only want one per mold and one per character. And I know for a fact that you know one. This is multiple molds or whatever. And I know that you have at least a wing thing, and I am certain that you have those other characters and other molds as well. Don't have these two. So if I no, do you don't have, have those one two. per mold and one per character, it's a very easy choice for me. I feel like you have three winged things now. Is that correct? I do. I do. I have a a gaggle of wing things. It's fantastic. I, have, I believe I have every wing thing that has been created, and I've made a little pile of them because it's Ooh. ridiculous how much we've got of this toy. And I'm gonna just make sure they look nice, and I even have a bonus. Semi wing a, thing. A bonus? Yeah. I'll just let me get them set up here. Two. Talk, I, talk I amongst mean, yourselves. What what world do we live in where we're getting multiple wing things? Is what I want to know. I mean, this is like crazy. All right. All right. It's not gonna be a great picture, but Oh, that's a fair amount. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot so, of wing things. So that's G one, and then of course the new one. Right there. Mm -hmm. Jesus, it's all backwards. It's hard to do. This is KFC wing thing. 
This mm. is Masterpiece Wing Thing. Or, sorry, this that's is Masterpiece, Masterpiece Wing Thing. Sorry, yeah, this is G1 that's Encore Wing Thing. And this is Sting Thing, which is a KFC exclusive from our uh, buddy Nick and Sid. And that's Nick who recently joined the cast. He did this a few years back. Um, Sting Thing is tight. Yeah. So just a ridiculous amount of Wing Thing homages for, you know, what was originally just Soundwave's Action Master Partner. Which is the whole reason why he's a tape now is because he was partnered with Soundwave. Which you could have seen that Action Master partner be featured last week on Ouch My Wallet because I got him. It's exciting. Ooh, Anna, Ron's up in the ante. He says he'll trade you a Power of the Primes Moon Racer for that Rumble Frenzy or that Rumble Rap. Oh my pack. goodness. Wow. I am, um, like, the temptation is so strong right now. I might just have to take a break to go make that deal. <laughs> Oh, if you uh, if you do that, we could track to Sean about repainting it for you too. <laughs> yeah, I have I have, I have four of that mold. That I'd be happy to have him repaint. They all run are great. Anyway, back to focusing on these guys. So, which mold do you want to talk about first, bats or well, dudes? We've been talking about wing thing, so let's do wing thing. Bats. All right. Yeah. Wing thing is orange rat bat, like we tend to expect, <laughs> which is again weird that we have to expect this but i guess if they're going to make a tool for rap bat it's good to have a repaint somewhere so here's wing wing thing he's an orange rectangle he's awesome i love him he's super cute like he has, a, cute. He has a cute little face he's like cute little face oh, he's great yeah. and he could even like i was surprised that bending his weeds and like that kind of makes it look like he's either talking or having snacks so he became posable mm -hmm. And that, that made him so much better to me. Because now he's like, he's eating his, his bat snacks, whatever those are. Yeah, and that's a feature that, the, you know, the rat bat mold has had since G1. You know, the Masterpiece does it, the G1 does it, and now the new one does it as well. Where they can all, fully, you know, it's part of their transformation. It's how they have snack time. Yeah. Well. And I think in general, like, these smaller molds, like, are much better as, you know, bats or birds or whatever. I think that we pretty much all, like, say that um, Ravage is, like, by far the weakest of, like, all it's these doo -doo. tapes that have come out. Ravage oh, is straight doo-doo. The doo right. But pretty much all the other of these smaller tape molds are, are decent. Like, the Laserbeak's good. Yeah, the Laserbeak's, Laserbeak's good. The Laserbeak's well, it's good. It disappoints me not. that we haven't gotten a repaint of that. Like I, I'm glad that we got the pack. Yeah, we did, no buzzsaw. It's but weird. Yeah. Yeah. No buzzsaw. I'm sure buzzsaw is a common. I'm sure. Yeah. They'll be packed in somewhere with something, or they'll do like they did with this set, where they use a combo set to get out, you know, other partners for other mainline releases that they didn't want to put in that release, and then you know some gap fillers, like putting a main dude like Rumble in this pack is really odd. And I just assume either they're trying to, you know, get people to buy it, which makes sense with three others that they may not care about, or they just literally couldn't think of anywhere else to put him. Yeah. You know, I but, agree like, with that. but like rumble and buzzsaw would have made sense to me, but they didn't. Well, last time buzzsaw so came out anywhere, he came out in a pack with Halback, So maybe we could see a Halback too. It's funny that Wien thing has become so common recently that it like, took me several days to realize that it was odd for him to be with rumble like paired because <laughs> it was just like oh two of the normal guys when i wrote that post today i was like oh i'm gonna have two of the normal guys judging the weird guys i was like wait a second we think it's not a normal guy he's an action master buddy oh well whatever you know i think i'm sure we've mentioned it before on some show or multiple shows just the kind of the as the fandom has matured and developed since the explosion that the 2007 Bay movie caused, like things that used to be weird oddities are more and more common. I think wing thing may be like the most obvious example of that, where it's just, he's all the time, you know, starting with the encore release. And then since then it's like, Oh, now every time there's a, t a bat, it's getting a wing thing repaints. Um, That's right. So, you know, so what is it about the blue guy? like rumble or frenzy, whichever one that is. Um, like, why is he always the one that doesn't sell as well? That's the exclusive. Cause the last time they came out with the, the larger tapes, uh, for combiner wars, or no Titans return. Um, 
like he was also an exclusive as well in in that set. And I know like when MMC, I think whenever they've released their tapes, the red guy, I think they've released by himself, but like the the blue one, they it, so like what is what is it I like? Is they, there a reason? No, the blue like, one came one's out A-list? from MMC. Yeah, I think Lucas. No, it did. But I'm saying is is that like it seems like the red one sells better. Yeah. I think because Rumble was the one who had more dialogue in the cartoon. He's the one we remember more. Uh, maybe I, he's the one I would expect to be easier to find, not packaged with three other oddities. Weirdos, yeah. yeah. But now he's in the Weirdo Club, because he can sell the Weirdo Club, because the completionists of the cartoon characters have to have them, so then they end up with these other weirdos. I mean, it's... Although, I think... It's like, if we look at Prime, uh, the blue one, pick your, pick your word, the blue one's the one that got released as a car, for whatever reason. But, you know, he had the pile drivers. But then you go to Alternators, and only the red one got the release, again, with the, the pile driver. So, I don't know depending on how far back you want to look, but you know, it's probably like eight, eight teams ago though, that made some of those lines, it, you know, they, they really seem hit or miss on who gets released. It's true. So did we have anything else to say about, um, a ween thing before we move on from him? Because he's here. He's, he's orange. I can't believe I have six wing things or wing thing homages. <laughs> he's got paint and some spots. I'm not like a wing thing collector. They just, end up in my collection. <laughs> they they I really accumulate. Like orange things. So I might have to be a wing thing collector. I, I, I'm going to have to make a, a pic. I should take a picture of these before I put them back to post to Paul's uh, Transformer Collector Facebook group, you know, character oh, yeah, collection. Because it's like, yeah, here they all are with bonus third party ones too. What a world we live in. Moon pies. Yeah, he has no uh, more changes, changes from Rabbat though, right? Same face. Um, I, body. Probably so. I don't think Same there's any disease. differences. I do not have rat bat, so I cannot tell you. Oh, I can look at my rat bat. Yeah. No, I, I don't see any. This particular yeah, one does not. Here's Frenzy yeah. and tape mode, by the way. Is there any difference? It's blue rectangle. Do we want to switch to the next, to the rectangle? To the one I thought we were going to bats. I thought we were doing both bats. Yeah. We were talking about him, so here he is. I we were. Him. Well, actually, we weren't. We were talking about Rumble. You just named him Frenzy, so he's a different person. Hey, the box says he's Frenzy, so he's Frenzy. <laughs> it's a <laughs> I know. It's such a pointless <laughs> argument. It's just like, it's kind of like the one stupid funny thing you can always be sure Transformers fans will do is argue about that. It's good times. Right, so, so who, like, who is this, Anna? Do you know who this is? He's uh, he's uh, one of those um, one of those purple bats. This scar. He is the Decepticon Power Master partner to Double Dealer. Yeah. He one is of them, adorable. Right? One of them. He has a new head. He does have a new head. I think that's pretty neat that they put a new, uh, did a new head for him. Yeah. Um. I mean, there's no way my camera is going to pick this up. Um. Like, I'm half tempted to buy a new one. Lucas is doing a good job at it. Lucas is doing but, a good job at it too. Well, no, I have the G1. And I just kind of wanted to show a contrast oh. from it, and like, you can see that it, like, like it's definitely made to look like the G1. I mean, it's not like, you know, line for line or, or whatever, but it's it's pretty damn close. It's obviously an updated version of it, you know, with better detailing, to be honest, because the detailing on the original one's kind of soft. But you know, the original one is not a tape, but it does transform into a bat to a rectangle, so close enough. With uh, the yeah, main, the main thing it's missing though, you know, and they've tried to homage it on the back here is that he very obviously has you know because he's a power master engine parts on his back you know he's got the three exhausts going up or whatever, and you know, this obviously doesn't have it the new one in any way but other than they just made some of the back parts gray to kind of say hey look this is what we're basing it off of it's close enough though. Yep, I think it's nice. It's a good idea and it's uh, something I wouldn't have expected to have seen so I, I like that now that double dealers come and we have in buddies you know scar is an important part of that i was surprised by it yeah it's, it's cool though honestly i would have the way they're doing things these days i would have been more upset if it was the other way around and they didn't release them in some way you oh know, we yeah saw that, me too. We, we saw that with like spinister they got his target masters out there they made them terrible to get but at least they came out somewhere yeah. You know, this is a four pack of of tape bots. I think is a 
much better way to do it than like throwing one with Skywarp as an Amazon exclusive. You know, this is you. Much I have preferred. a thing to say about the avail- availability of these when we wrap. Okay. okay. So look forward to that. All right, I'll start a beat. That way you can wrap. That's right. Nice. Well, this guy actually, he has a lot more color on him than Wing Thien does. Yeah, all that yellow is paint, although it, like most yellow paint, it probably could use another coat, but... I didn't think it was too it, bad. It, it's not terrible. And the, you know, on his back where they have all the gray, like the, the lining going in there, that's actually really clean for as tiny as a lot of it is. Yep. He's got a lot of little paint apps just thrown on him. Yeah, it's pretty good. He has his red eyes, which makes him look a lot more menacing. I mean, it's just the head, though, right? Otherwise, he's just, yeah, just a straight rat bat. I thought originally when we saw pictures that the chest might have been remolded, but it's just painted differently with a different, different yeah. highlights and different details. Yeah. Yeah. Just to, just to piss off Paul when he watches this, I want to say that since this is a purple bat, you can use it as a rat bat substitute. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Although, of course, the big uh, problem is here's G1 Double Dealer, and it doesn't fit in there. Zero out of ten. Do not buy. <laughs> right. That is kind of neat about the new Double Dealer, though. It doesn't. It, it comes with something that looks like a tape door. I forget where it is on the body, but I, I remember seeing it at Toy Fair that it has a way to store these two, Duh. other than just pegging them in with their you know, rectangle pegs. That was going to yeah, be mine. Yeah, talk about rectangle pegs in a minute. <laughs> yeah, but it's got a place to store them. It's cool. You're just saying. Oh. So yeah, he looks pretty good. He's a character a lot of us know nothing about, but he's here and he's a nice light purple. That's a little accent. Oh, you know, that is something I wanted to kind of talk about with each of these we go through, just to back up to Wing Thing very quickly. Like, his, you know, orange is much brighter than every other Wing Thing that's come out. Like, I mean, it's obviously Wing Thing, but it's, it's notably brighter. But I was surprised at how close the purples are on these two. Like, it's, it's a little... I mean, it's a little different. It's, like, it's just a shade darker. Not that it matters that they be the exact same shade or anything by, by any means. But uh, I was just still surprised. Like, man, that purple's really close to the original purple that was used. What you a know? wonderful world we live in where yeah. I could just reach over to my left and pull out another weed thing. <laughs> yeah, you can see there. So, wing so thing. Anna, if you knew that this wing thing was coming, would you have gotten the Masterpiece one? Or that came with, like, some other tapes as well, I guess. And we all love tapes. Like yeah, like I, I don't know. Tapes might be... I have to decide. Tapes may or may not be an exclusion to my roles. I have to think about it. I think it's okay if they are because they are small and they're fun. They don't take up a lot of room. You know, if you if you run out of space, you can put them in rectangle mode and stack them up. And there's You're right. Not, you know, it's, it's a lot different than having, you know, a bunch of deluxes or voyagers or leaders, you know, fighting for shelf space. And it's not like we're getting a zillion tapes coming out, <laughs> you know. I mean, the the list is still pretty small of of tapes, even if you got all the KFC ones, like what Rob looks like he has. Yeah, I think I have one of all their molds at least, but still. And so far, this legion of tapes is actually reasonably big. All things considered, considering it's what three molds, four molds. I mean, they're smaller than G1 tapes. G1 tapes, you know, being yeah. micro cassette size. Well, I just but... think the group was big. Like, there's there's eight oh, of them gotcha. already, which is yeah. a pretty decent score, considering we always get a couple tapes every now and then. Anyway. I, I know I know Christian always has this, like, <laughs> thing that he really wishes that all the G1 tapes would actually come out, like, in, in a certain line. Because, like, every single line we've ever had... <laughs> Like, they don't release all of them. They do, like, a, a good chunk of them, but but not all. Yeah, they usually, like, like blasters tapes we usually don't get. We get much more sound waves, who are honestly more iconic. But, like, you know, I just, I just blanked on, like, Ramhorn and The Lion. You know, like, we're just less likely to get those. And then you get into, like, oh, what's the Stegosaurus name? I'm just blanking all the names. And Overkill. The best. Overkill. Yes. Yeah, like, getting those, like, that chance like it kfc barely did them as it was sure. they did barely do them 
So yeah, transformation on these guys is really simple. One one can hope. Yeah. And all of these are simple, but they're fun. I've, yeah, it's fine. Like I don't, had, I don't have complaints about this mold. This mold is cool. I like the back. I, I really hope, and of course, I mean, sure, Christian, you're the same way. That if they keep up with these, uh, micro, the MicroMaster scale, like in the next line and whatnot, that you we said the word. Up, I've got to say my thing now. What you said, MicroMaster, and you know how I've always said that I don't like that tapes take up MicroMaster slots because I want MicroMasters to take up MicroMaster slots. Yeah. Okay. You know, I say that. I say that thing a lot. So I don't like that. Knock and Scar are in this pack because they take up tape spots. Because they take up tape spots. They like, <laughs> could just be their own own thing by themselves <laughs> in a normal MicroMaster pack, which I know was against everything I said before. But like, they're not MicroMasters. They're not tapes. Making their own thing. The, they're tapes now, though. I hate to tell you. Well, Maybe I was going to say, I really hope that the, you know, as they continue on, that we actually start getting more tapes than MicroMasters. I know, like, for any kids, like, kids, like, my kids would hate these tape things, you know what I mean? Like, they're so... Your kids are stupid. Like, like for, a, for a kid, like, they'd much rather have a vehicle, you know, than, than one of these. But, like, I know for, for us, like, I would love to get tapes and i really just hope run, that just run two assortments i'm good with that right like i don't want yep. one or i want both it's just that i don't want the tapes to be called micromasters and put in micromaster packaging so it means we only get half the micromaster patrol i hate that yeah but i like both right. of them so much it's I, I just don't want them competing for each other's space because i want all of it so, so which of the duders are we talking about first are we talking about Rumble. Yeah, let's do Rumble first. He's more boring. We could talk about Frenzy since he's actually in this pack. Hey, I said it right. I just said Rumble. That's the way to do it. So, the one thing that I will say that I am impressed about this figure is that his chest is actually like a, a navy blue. I don't know if it's like, if you can actually see it on my camera. But like, if you compare him to Rumble, Frenzy, whatever, if you compare the two, this one's black. So they could have just left this one black. And not painted it, but they did, and I thought I think that that's cool. It's not. Yeah, they could have. Or is it not painted? Uh, it's it's, it not, it's painted? not painted. No, it's just is cast it blue dark plastic. Blue. Yeah. Okay. Well, nevertheless, I think it's cool that they actually like did that and didn't just make it black. I agree. I think its detailing looks super good. Like I'm a big fan of these two uh, from Blue and Frenzy, and. I mean, uh... All the light blue, or the lighter blue, not necessarily light blue, is paint, though. Yeah, this right. blue. And the detail on the legs, like, those are really nice tampa grass. They're really clean. They came out nice. At least on mine. Yep, look good here, too. Colors are very different. That is a version. That said, this oh, is my okay. first... This, this is like a toy... Uh, Frenzy rumble than more yes. than MSC looks like an anime. More than the cartoon because this was. And the, I'm good with that. He's not blue or red. He's purple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was always my problem growing up. Is people argued about it. I just feel like, but Rumble's not red or blue. He's purple. This is a uh, my first time with this mold, and to be honest, I'm not impressed. I mean, it's that's fine. what everybody else says. It's fine. Oh, His hands are really, really dumb. It doesn't really have stupid. hands. They're just like I mean, little pegs. Well, we I mean, know their yeah. hands. Like they're they're molded. His thumb and fingers are all molded in there. It's just there's a poker coming out of it for some reason. All right, first it's, thing. It's supposed to integrate with the blast effect system, and why? Mm. First thing. All right, you guys. First thing. This is the best mold out of the cassettes. I don't know what you guys are talking about. This is the one I like the most because he's a lot of fun. He's way more fun than the other MicroMasters that are humanoid because he can actually pose. <laughs> As seen by picture, he could lay down and relax. He's fantastic. Literally Second, every Transformer can lay down and relax. Grandis <laughs> can lay down and relax. That's Second one of his third, modes. Circuit third <laughs> is these little pegs are some third-party person can make pile drivers. That's what they're yeah. for. But, I mean, you can make pile drivers with anything because they usually go over the arm. Yeah, but that's what they're there for. They're going to make some third-party person going to be like, ooh, let's make pile drivers for this little guy. And they're going to do it. And it's going to be fun. 
sightings. Of I mean, the- technically, at least with the hand things, like you can actually at least kind of call that articulation, with as opposed to some of the other micromasters, okay. to where that's a lot of there's squinting nothing there. No, I. That's so, that's so right. squinting you literally can't see anymore, and it's just your mind's right. eye projecting a picture of articulation. <laughs> no, it totally is. I use it as articulation. It makes it more fun. So, but but I do agree with you though that like I think at this size it's a little frustrating with the lack of articulation. And this is the thing that I'm like somewhat shocked that Anna like loves this mold because I just don't think that, you know, that the, I think the articulation could have been better. And like, when we actually see third party legends, like when, when new age and magic square come out with their tapes, like we're going to sit there and go, well, these are complete crap, but (laughs) I mean, I don't expect a lot of articulation in this size class, especially from Hasbro, but I would have just expected to get rid of the dumb peg on the fist and give me like a bicep swivel or something like where the pain is, where the paint cut off is. I would expect a, a mold cut there. And that, that would be plenty for, you know, a figure this size. I would be content. Oh, the other I mean, thing I do want to it's fun to fiddle with. The oh. other thing I will say about this mold too, is at least the joints are tighter than some of the other micromasters. Like That's I've been true. really, a, you know, yeah, the, the, like these are actually pretty tight. Whereas like some of those micromasters are just super floppy. So there you go. actually, I almost forgot my big complaint about this tiny figure. What I just absolutely freaking hate is the trademark paint on that. On the outside of his legs. Jesus oh, Christ. That is, that's the one thing is, I don't like. It is really, really obnoxious. Like, you know, I'm looking at my other ones and you know what? Like, here's Laser Beak. He doesn't have any on it. And oh my goodness, the toy was still able for me to buy in the store. Who'd have thought? All three versions of this mold have that. Yeah. I just checked. I just checked the red one. He's the same. But like, the other red one is also the same. The Nox well, is the same. The thing, I mean, like, the the thing that like annoys it. me, I honestly don't mind like the the Hasbro Takara on here. You know, right? I don't mind that. That was made of but, Vietnam. Like, the stamp, <laughs> yeah, the stamp saying like with whatever this number is, you know, and then the um, Vietnam or whatnot. It's like, do you really need all that crap on the toy? I don't know. You know what I wish? I wish that like that Vietnam, the batch number or like the part number at the bottom, I wish they were different. And that way people like Nick would have to collect every version depending <laughs> on what was printed on it. You're so mean. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to help That's... him by breaking him. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm going to pretty devious. Like you see somebody smoking. What do you do? You make them smoke constantly and never let them leave till they smoke a million cigarettes. Then they'll quit. Works every time. Yep. Very good. Wow. That's uh your girl like horrible eighty sitcom logic. <laughs> right. But yeah, I I cannot stand that. I don't know if some alcohol like I'm tempted to take alcohol and try to see if that'll pull it off or like what was it pa- nail okay. polish Teach remover? Oil will do it. But, but yeah, you but gotta be careful because the knight's legs right are right next to it. But let me ask you Okay, so for these Rumble Rumble and Frenzy, like if you could only have one between this and those like Titans return molds that like turned into three different things that were legend scale, which one would you choose? I don't even remember what these because they I are think I would in choose. scale. Are you talking about <laughs> the ones that were like the little toys, tanks? They look nicer. Yeah. The tanks and the yes. PDAs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I actually think I like these better, so I mean even Really? Yeah. Really? But you say you don't like these. But I, they do the thing better than the uh, the other versions do. And all right. That these are better the tapes. Thing. These are better tapes. Like the other ones, like have too much kibble and whatever else on it. Huh. So the other ones okay. are the other ones in general are probably like better toys. But yeah, these toys. This is a better rectangle. <laughs> which is what this I want. This is a better rectangle. Right. You're yeah. totally right. This is a fantastic little rectangle. You know, that said, do I like my MMC one better? Yeah. Absolutely. Do I like my Masterpiece better? Yeah. You know, those yeah. figures, of course, cost a lot more than, you know, whatever this averaged out to be. Okay. I can't even remember. How much was the pack? What was it? 40? 20. 20. 20? They're like 20 five bucks. bucks each. Yeah, it's five bucks. Tax or shipping or whatever you pay. Five They're not bucks. bad. 
I can't. Well, I can bitch, but I don't put right. a lot of value in it. So anyway, I really like the paint. I really like the detail. This is a version of one of my favorite Transformers characters, so I guess that makes me more biased. I like him a lot. I know you guys don't like this mold as much, but I'm really into it. So every once in a while, Anna has to like something from the main be. line. I mean, I would give it like a seven out of ten, maybe See, a six out of ten. High. Maybe a six out of like it's it's perfectly competent, but it, it's again it's such a small size and with the cheap cost. See, see, that's my thing. I feel like with all of the MicroMaster scales, for like whatever reason, like this entire line, it's like they have all been perfectly competent and they're fine. But like none of the ones I've gotten have like really excited. Like there's been a couple um that i've really enjoyed but like most of them it's like they're fine whereas i feel like some of the like legends figures like i just like that scale better and i think and then some of the other uh smaller figures like those little the little mini pretenders that they had like i thought those were really cool as a neat idea and whatnot it's just these ones it's just like yep they they redid g1 it has slightly more articulation good deal this had turns <laughs> Oh my goodness, there we go. There's the one thing. Yeah. <laughs> His head turns. So I guess we'll move over to Knock now. It's Knock. It's Knock. Mine he is, is Double right Dealer's roll. Autobot Power Master. Mine is exercising. Double Dealer turns into an Autobot and a Decepticon since the Autobot version. And they don't know about each other, but they shipped in the same pack. Hmm. <laughs> In this version, yeah, you can not. see him as an upside-backwards robot with words <laughs> on him. He kind of looks like a mainframe to me, and I don't know why. Maybe it's the colors, maybe it's yeah. the head sculpt. I mean, as far as an yeah. homage to the original knock, it's pretty damn spot on. Like, I mean, the other one was silver instead of gray. It's fine. But they got the dark blue accents in the right spot. The head remold is, you know, dead on. Like, that's definitely knock. Um... The red's a little darker, but it's still fine. The light blue is matched, kind of like the purple, and it'll just match extremely well, all things considered. I was pretty content. Um, not that you can see a lot of it on the original knock, but it's definitely there. I like his light blue, almost all sparky blue accents mm -hmm. in robot mode. It's it's very prominent in his tape mode because it's you know the side of his tapes right there, that color. But it's also right here up on the top of his chest. I really like how that looks. Yep. It's not quite all spark blue, but it's close. So Christian, Rodimus in the Discord chat would like you to elaborate on how the two of them don't know about each other. He asked if that's a thing for a double dealer. Yeah, that's a thing for double dealer. Not double dealer's a double agent and knock and scar do not know about each other. Because they're not double agents? Because they're or not knock and not about scars and Decepticon. Yeah, that's a thing. I hope that's something they keep up. That's amusing. Um, I was going to mention too that he does have a new head sculpt as well. So yeah. that's yeah. it's different that's saying, from like, the yeah. Like I said, they made it to match the original one really nicely, just like they did for mm -hmm. uh, the other guy. Yeah, it's a it's funny because it's really nice that they made a new head. It's just kind of a it's a very lifeless head. It, it's accurate and everything. It's just, I don't know. It makes it feel like he'd be a good candidate for a drone robot. It's probably, I think it's because he doesn't have his eyes painted. Like yeah. his whole face probably. is dark blue. Yeah, it's just that one mm. color. Which is how the original yeah. is. But, you know, given his eyes, like some highlights wouldn't have been the end of the world. His eyes is a visor, right? Or a visor? No. I think he has actually really... eyes. Okay. Yeah, yeah you kind of see it. You really have to hold it under the right light. Like, I really can't show you on the yeah. screen, but if you have him under some strong light, you can see the little indents where his eyes could be. Yeah, you know, I don't think that's going to pick up on the or a needle or something. Give him some color to his eyes. If you care. If you care. You probably don't care. Yep, he has them, but, you know. The the new head I think is is good. It's it fine. Could be used that one extra paint application, but it's fine. 
I did want to say that back when these things were first announced, I know some people thought that he had a new chest and everything, and that he had actually had some remolding to look less like a cassette and whatnot. And he is his painting to look less like a cassette. Like, he's yeah, just... The, there's enough the, the paint they did, yeah, it, looks, it looks a lot better as not a cassette. But you could tell the molding is still there, but the, they, re, I guess, re-blocked it, re-laid it out, so it looks different. Yeah, Marvel has the gold accents on his nipples, which point out his cassette-ness, and Nock doesn't. I just think it, it it's a cool little touch that they tried with the paint. So yeah, I, I personally am happy with this little set. Like it's not, the double dealer guys aren't like important to me because I never had double dealer. I never really knew him as a character and I don't plan to get the new one, but they're cool to have around as new characters to join in, you know, my set of things and they have new heads that counts as a different sculpt. Ha ha, just kidding. Um, and then I really do, I really like this mold. Like, this is just a fun mold to me. Just a very simple little humanoid guy that, to me, is pretty animated. Turns into a rectangle, as Christian held up. A very rectangular rectangle. rectangle. Yep. Since I'm buying Double Dealer, to me, this was like a set I was obligated to buy either way. Not that I was against buying some cassette bots anyways. You know, I like Rock Lords, and I like cassettes. Give me basic shapes, and I'm into it, apparently. I am three. So. Well, and uh, what are those uh, the beast boxes? You, you're into those, too. Yes, I am. So. Got all of those. That's true. Those are, those are kind of sort of modern rock lords in a way. Mm-hmm. I don't like them very much, but kind of sort of modern rock lords. Oh, you got to get the right ones. I'm sure. I'm sure. So yeah, right. do we want to talk about rectangles real fast? Just the the, the life of a rectangle. <laughs> I mean, if you want to pad the show, sure, you know. I, Once I there was a triangle that had three sides, and someone said, "Let there be a fourth side," and thus the rectangle was born. What I mean is just that they have they have little pegs that you can pull out in the center of them. This is right there. And they allow you to put them on your other guys, your other War for Cybertron Siege and Earthrise figures. I mean, it's pretty much anything with a five millimeter port of some sort, right? Yes. And then they can become a shield. I have garbage menthol Megatron here. (laughs) And he gets to wear a fashionable, pretty arm thing. Where is it to go to the club and, like, totally fly? Speaking of the club, you know, so much of what we get, especially in the selects lines, really feels like stuff that the club would have gotten us back in the day. You know, it's a lot of, except for uh, Rumble, you know, the rest are kind of kooky, odd repaints that as collectors we would want to fill gaps. Yeah. You know, then plus a wing thing because why not? Um, You know, it's... Well, I definitely miss the aspects of, you know, of BotCon and the club. Uh, you know, it's been several years now, and I've I've gotten over it. The, you know, the grieving period is long-ended. And we're getting so many of these things that the club would do in mainline that the need for it feels less. You know, like, I wouldn't bitch if it came back, don't get me wrong. But, you know, the world has moved on. Well, I think for me, yeah, once again... That. The the um the the fact that these were twenty dollars as an exclusive instead of yeah. like, how much would the club have charged for those four figures? It'd be right. like a hundred bucks or something. I mean, maybe not. It'd probably, maybe be like, it was... it'd probably be like fifty, fifty, sixty. Yeah. I would guess. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So the 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 fact that they are doing so many of these exclusives and they're essentially the exact same price, um, you know, I think is is cool. So, I mean, a lot of the selects aren't. You know, a lot of the selects, like uh, all the, pro- the Seacons, you know, and the, well, the Voyagers and the the Voyagers, not all of them, but some of the, or was he later, like the uh, the Prime they did, the Gal- 
Yeah, it's it's the ones that are technically Takara Japanese exclusives. Yeah, yeah. the ones that yeah. aren't in the price line are the Seacons and the Seacon Pirates, of course, and Star Convoy. Okay. I mean, some of the other figures, like the Voyager, like the Netflix Voyagers, the, the are coming Megatron, out. They're throwing the in. They're they're throwing in. Well, that's a that's Takara too. Yeah, he's also marked up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's Takara yeah, again. I think if it's coming straight from Takara, then it's marked up. But if it's something that like Hasbro's actually releasing, then it's normal price. They're sticking to the price whatever. points, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. those are on the old LG price points, basically the the Japanese ones. Mm-hmm. They're closer to that, which is nice because we're actually getting American releases of those, so we don't have to pay quite as much of a markup. If you remember back in LG days, we were paying 40 for deluxes on the average. Now we're getting them for 35 which is yeah. better that Hasbro is actually getting them to us for a slightly better price. Yep. I think God Neptune was only 185 or something on yeah. Pulse, which yeah. was real surprising. It's not bad. Really reasonable, I guess. Not if if that was a club exclusive, it would be a lot more. It would have been more expensive. I would have preferred this set had remained all cassette characters. You know, maybe the the uh, Power Masters could have become like a mail away thing. Like you, you buy double dealer and you get the uh, offer and you send it in. You get Knox Scar. I don't know something crazy like that would be fun. But you know, I would have liked to have seen a Garboil and Howlback or Buzzsaw and Enemy or. You know, something. It's a way to get the molds out. I like that. But you know, that, I'm, I'm nitpicky. That's all. That's all. I'm doing. I, really I mean, I think the thing. I love it. I think the fact that they can like kind of essentially reuse the mold pretty easily, I think, is is neat that they did that. You know, like I think if they would have completely came out with their own molds, then I would count that as like, oh man, we could have gotten something else. But um, no, I'm, not, I'm saying come out exactly like they are, just uh-huh. not in this pack. Yeah. You see, just release them different. elsewhere. Or, you know what? If they have to do it this way, give us several more cassette four packs. You know what? Just do it. Yeah. No, that, I mean, that's what I would love. I, I love all kinds of cassettes, and hopefully these all sell pretty well uh, to where they, you know. I think they are sold out on Pulse. They are sold out. I know out originally, Pulse. originally they sold out, and some other vendors popped up, and some of those vendors sold out, but like, I think they were. they they were still readily available at some other vendors for a while. And then I think they came back on pulse, you know, I, I mean, I get the feeling that like, you know, a few months they'll be sold out everywhere. So I searched already. a little bit to try to figure out, cause I, I kind of feel bad. Cause when we originally started this show, I always wanted us to review things that you could still get. And recently we've been doing a lot of things that you can't still get. Cause we've been talking about the C cons and the C cons are, painful to get a hold of right now sometimes you get lucky and find them on pulse but a lot of times you're paying crazy markups and um i did find that while you can't get this on pulse right now you can get it on big bad toy store for a couple dollars markup which isn't terrible so you know it's it's gettable still right now probably not for long though yeah yeah i would definitely say uh you know to to get it while you can because otherwise they're going to sell out. I mean, the Seacons, I wasn't really, when we first started doing the Seacons, I wasn't expecting them. Like, I, I don't know if they were sold out when we first started doing it or when we first thought we were going to do it, I guess. Um, I didn't think it would be as hard to come by as they are now. I mean, the Seacons, it's crazy how expensive they are now. Yeah. And if, Gosh, you know, bad. You know, to your, dressed. To your point, Anna, about, you know, you wanted the show to be things that you could still get. Almost everything is pre-order these days. Yeah. You know, so like that's yeah. just, unless you don't want to talk about, you know, stuff that you get a lot, you know, it's hard to know what is, will and will not sell out by the time it comes, you know, in our grubby hands. So yeah, I think that's, that's pretty tough to do anymore the way the market is. No, it's well, true. The environment has changed quite a bit for how accessible these things are. But the the thing is, though, is, is so many stores, at least, you know, now are doing like pre-orders that you don't have to pay for up front and that you can cancel at any time. So, I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but like I'm usually Pulse or Big Bad Toy Store or whatever. Like there's a lot of places I put in pre-orders and then I end up canceling it just kind of depending on how things happens it's kind of like a 50 yeah. 50 thing as to where, whether or not i'm actually going to to get that pre-order so i 
I would just do that, considering the fact that you can pre-order a lot of this stuff without, you know, cost up front. Yeah, Big Bad's pretty much no repercussions. I know some of the, like, if you're into third party, though, and you're dealing with, like, some of the smaller vendors, canceled pre-orders can be harmful to their business. That's you know, oh, absolutely. It depends yeah. on, like, Pulse, that's pretty much, you know, from the manufacturer. I'm not worried about it. Or, uh, and honestly, not even Big Bad these days. They're freaking huge. You know, they've they've cornered the market, and that's part of cornering the market. Like, that is your, you know, it's fine. You know what? You can cancel your pre-orders with us, and we won't charge you till it ships. You know, that's that's part of the business model. They they expect that, but it's some of the smaller guys, it's a little harder for them to absorb because they have to compete against that. But Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, again... You know, I'm talking about like a lot of the pre-orders I end up having is through Walmart, Target, Amazon, you know, whatever. And so it's, or Hasbro yeah. Pulse. And I'm not really that concerned about like, you know, them eating it if I end up canceling. Yeah. But. Yeah, so yeah, these four right. are gettable. These two are, oh. are they're findable. They're not terrible. It's and funny because you are not. <laughs> the four we're actually talking about, you just said they're forgettable. Like they're not these worth buying then. These four are gettable, not these forgettable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you said forgettable, sir. <laughs> I really yeah. like them. They're not forgettable. I enjoy them greatly. I recommend it. Like if you want four MicroMasters that don't suck, that's the way to get them. Or yep. tapes or whatever you want to call them today. Because yeah, I, I, I don't like the MicroMasters. Like, I have not enjoyed the regular, you know, cars and planes and stuff. But these guys are cool. Rectangles are good. There you go. And you can stack them. Garbage with all my friends says so. I think they're a cool set. They're a fun set. Um, you know, even with the gripes with uh, the Rumble Frenzy mold, you know, it's still a fun toy to fiddle with. And they're cheap. It's it's a fun little set. And if you're getting Double Dealer, I think uh, you definitely want to get it just to help, you know, complete him to G1 standards. You're going to be mad at yourself if you don't get them and you get Double Dealer because you're always going to be thinking, like, he doesn't have his friends. <laughs> and they're not going to release his friends in another way. This is how they're going to no, be. No, this is it. So we're already over on time, but just one question before we finish up. How would you guys feel if we kept getting, like, Power Master characters – and their friends kept being Kazats. I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't care. I think I'd be annoyed after a while, particularly with the humanoid ones. If they would just kept being this mold, I'd be annoyed. But <laughs> oh, if, if they did really good engine decos on the back of the tape mode, like this, this deco, uh, I'd be cool with it. Okay. I, had, I would like to see them do a different rectangle <laughs> that transforms into a human, but that has actual engine molding on his back. And then if they want to reuse that for, you know, two to four characters, fine. You know, I'm okay with that. You know, get us, you know, Joyride and... Uh, yeah, it's Lube and Rev and... Yeah. That's wonderful I forget what Joyride's dude is. And Getaway. We need Getaway and his... It's Rev. That's Rev. Yeah. That would be cool. I think I'd kind of like it if they did that. Just keep them coming. And, you know, maybe we'll get really lucky and they'll at least do a redeco or remold a little bit to make it rewind and eject instead of Rumble and Frenzy. So we'll at least get a slight variation of Little Guy. Very cool. You know, I think if they're not going to do a tape player uh, in, in Earthrise or in Warp Cybertron 3, I think getting packs like this through Selects is a really good idea. Yeah. No one wants to mm -hmm. have cassettes without anything to put them in. We have them from Siege, but they're not available on shelves anymore. So, you know, if they want to keep releasing cassettes and just want to make them selects, you know, let's do it. I'm good with that. I just want at least okay. one more mold. I don't want it just to be these four molds. I want at least one more, one more nice. animal. It can be a rhino a or a lion, whatever. A rhino and a lion sounds good to me. Oh, that would be Special nice, horse. but I'm just trying not to push. The Sex so Wars will never happen. <laughs> All right. Um, are we doing um, Ouch My Walt tomorrow night, Rob, or is that not till next week? Uh, it's technically not till next week. I toyed with the idea of going ahead and doing one this week, but I didn't really have a lot come in. And just for pacing, I think it's better just probably just to keep it to the two weeks. So we're going to have an off week this week and you know back on next week. 
Sounds good. Um, okay, yeah, make sure to uh, check out Also Cut the Tape. TFLP was on uh, YouTube last night, so if you want to uh, check that out, uh, we talked about Transformers crossovers. Uh, then also TF Talk News, uh, that's on Sunday nights. Uh, there was, it was a pretty big episode. There's a lot of news this week, so go check that out uh, as well. And I guess that's it. So, uh, uh, make sure and check out our Discord uh as well i think that the link should be on youtube and do we have that on the facebook page as well okay. i'm not sure but you can ask yeah. well we'll get it to you or go to look we'll at literally sure any that. of our youtube videos that have been recent. yeah yeah it's 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 like the top the, the links on the youtube uh videos so but. if you want to come to your to our discord and you talk to us we want you to come to our discord yeah. So we'll make sure you get there. And tune in next week because we're finally going to finish these guys. We're going to do it. When you say Z- these Ooh. guys, you mean the Seacons. I do mean the Seacons. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm this visual mean face. I, <laughs> I, held, up, I held up a Seacon. I held up <laughs> a lobster. I held up a lobster. He's so much face. Uh, Look at it. Th- there, there you go. So we're gonna be like, Goodbye. hey, more figures, more figures you can't get a hold of. And but we're doing, we're doing the six figure and the combined mode next week, right? Yep, yes. we're finishing up. Over. And uh, but yeah, if you do want God Neptune, make sure and get that on Hasbro Pulse because it's gonna sell out. Or I think there's other places as well that you can get to it. So. Yeah, hopefully by the time we talk about the combined mode next week, it'll still be up so the people who are convinced. <laughs> yeah, the window ends the 27th, so. Yep. Go, 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 go. like the next day. Okay. Well, thank you uh, for everyone in the chat. Um, so I appreciate that. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.